All right, guys, I really don't want to talk about this. Well, I'm really struggling to talk about it because I know I'm going to be attacked again for doing so, but no one else is talking about this. And the people who do run into these issues and uh, problems with the community, uh, they end up giving into the attacks by these people and changing their projects and conforming just so that they can survive in the Ethereum space. Uh, doing this just gives way more power to the problem because these attackers see that the bullying is is working. Obviously, everyone knows this, bullying is not in line with the free society. Uh, so this behavior is really detrimental to the vision that I thought Ethereum and blockchain had, or at least I wish that they had. Uh, full disclosure, I have well over a million dollars invested in Ethereum. I know the argument is that if I don't like something, then leave. And uh, the problem I have with that is that like-kind exchange doesn't exist anymore in cryptocurrency. So by doing, by leaving, I'm gonna have to pay hundreds of thousand dollars in taxes. Uh, so the only option I seem to have is to fight back against this. Also, there are people who spent so much time researching and learning about Ethereum and developing their projects on it. Uh, who are also way too invested in Ethereum and this platform to change platforms into something else. And their futures depend on it too, and the future of their employees as well. So they end up giving in, uh, but my future doesn't depend on it. I don't have any Ethereum projects, so I'm not giving in. Uh, also, I do want to point out that, uh, I just want to point out to everyone that called me an Ethereum shill, for speaking about, about problems that I saw in Cardano and EOS uh, in the past. Uh, this video should clearly prove that I'm not an Ethereum shill at all. I just talk about what problems I see and uh, try to explain things uh, the best way that I can. So I guess I should start by showing what happened to me uh, after I released that exposing Maria Paula Fernandez video. So I guess the first thing I want to talk about is the censorship that I received from posting my video in a few different subreddits. So if we look right here, I posted in uh, the Ethereum subreddit, the cryptocurrency subreddit, Bitcoin subreddit, BTC subreddit, EOS subreddit, and uh, then two more in cryptocurrency and Ethereum. As you can see, they were removed from EOS, from Bitcoin, and from Ethereum. And in cryptocurrency and BTC, they were left up. The problem with removing posts is censorship. Reddit has a voting system for a reason. If someone doesn't like it, they can downvote it. Of course, there are like people that can manipulate downvotes and whatever. That doesn't matter. Reddit has a system. Otherwise, it's censorship. You can't do that. So let's just see. Uh, let's just click on the Ethereum one and see the comments from it. So yeah, I just made a comment saying that it was deleted. Uh, Alex says, this, is a, this isn't a technical debate, just rehashing arguments over affirmative action. Uh, it actually is a technical debate. Uh, like I said here, you can read my comment. But uh, like I said, uh, a lot of stuff in Ethereum isn't technical debates. The Ethereum subreddit isn't a technical forum. There's people that are invested and concerned uh, about the future of Ethereum. Ethereum is a public company. Uh, I don't want to say it's an a, com a company, but it's public. And uh, there's people that are invested that care about their investments in it. Any argument should be a free argument. I made a follow-up post in Ethereum and AFRI responds saying that uh, Let's get in close here, saying that, uh, please, your post, please post your harassment somewhere else. This is not a sub for teenage alt rights. Being a supposedly open and diverse community, but they label me as an alt right because I said that manipulating free markets is not conducive to a free market society. Uh, yeah, I can't find the comment, but another person said, well, there's a bunch of comments deleted as well, but another person said that my video was removed from the subreddit because I was uh, self-promoting. But just look at the Ethereum, look at any uh, subreddit. It's all like projects, uh, people talking about hardware wallets and all these projects that they're working on and, and whatever. 
how is it fair? That's kind of a double standard to remove mine because I'm self-promoting my YouTube channel when really all I'm talking about is an issue that I see in Ethereum. I'm not promoting any product. I'm not trying to sell anything to anyone. I'm not having an ICO. I'm talking about a serious issue here. Come on now. So also this other person, uh, spammed, I guess, commented on like all the posts saying, why aren't you replying to my comment? Well, I was just too busy dealing with everyone else on Twitter, which we'll get to in a minute, but uh, we'll look at his comment. So his comment says, um, I guess I'll show you guys. Here's everything. You can read it off as you, as you like. I'm not gonna spend time talking about that or this or whatever in this video. I showed you the comments, you can read them. Uh, I have all my arguments that I made there. So uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is somehow, I don't know how, I don't, I don't know how it happened. I don't wanna put blame on anyone because I don't know for sure what happened, but my video was removed from Google search results. So I'll show you that too. So just Googling uh, Maria Paula Fernandez uh, my video should show up. And obviously, I also want to talk about this too. Well, I googled her last name, but I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, yeah, if you search for uh, videos, like my video should actually show up for this stuff. And uh, yeah, it doesn't. So I don't know how that happened or what. But uh, yeah. And also uh, the subreddit things should be there too. But uh, uh, here's this one, but uh, yeah. Like I said, I don't know how that happened. I'm not gonna accuse anyone of it, but uh, it's pretty strange that any other video that I make, uh, you can search for like the title of the video. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll even search for the title of the video and show you if it shows up or not. So yeah, like searching for a title, obviously my video should come up, but uh, it doesn't come up anywhere on YouTube. It comes up on like these places that it were was reposted at. But uh, yeah, Bit BitCurrent and Halu something. Uh, yeah, it doesn't come up from YouTube. Again, like I said, I have no idea how that happened, but it's pretty strange. If you search for the title of any of my other videos, uh, it'll come up with the YouTube link and stuff like that. So I don't know what's going on there. It does seem awfully fishy that uh, it would get removed like that or that it wouldn't show up and all that stuff. All right, so let's take a look at what Maria posted on Twitter after I made that video. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll through this real quick and then bring up some points. And this is just one thread. There's many more to this. So she starts out by saying that she got disingenuously attacked. Uh, I think maybe calling me a womanizer and a Nazi and all that, uh, I think is uh, pretty disingenuous of yourself. So uh, pretty fucked up shit. Uh, she says that I tracked down her work. Uh, she's a public figure in Ethereum that speaks out on Ethereum and posts in the subreddit and everywhere. Uh, so that's also pretty fucked up. I didn't track down jack shit about her. Another thing, them criticizing me for posting my video in the subreddits. Like uh, I have to get traffic to my videos if I see an issue or something, uh, that's what I have to do to do it. So uh, uh, it's disturbing. No, it's part of life. Also, instead of arguing the facts about my numbers and how there's way more support for women than and minorities in cryptocurrency, I. Uh, doesn't argue anything, just says, oh, everything's made up. Just completely ignore everything, it's all made up. Ignoring the facts and the arguments is uh, kind of how we get into these messes, you know? I feel like I'm losing mental capacity to deal with all these comments and stuff. Also, I guess the post is deleted too, but she was telling everyone on her Twitter account that I doxed her, that my video was doxing her. Uh, that's not true. Uh, when I inquired more about it, uh, she didn't say it, but other people said that what I did to dox her is that I put her last name in my video and she doesn't use her last name. Uh, that's what I'm gonna show uh, 
here. If you just do a Google search for Maria Paula Ethereum, uh, yeah, her last name's on her Medium account, her LinkedIn account. Uh, it was much more than this, but uh, she's been changing things since uh, I posted the video. I don't dox anyone. Anything that I have in my videos is public information from public Twitter accounts and uh, yeah. Here's some more stuff and uh, I don't even want to show like, obviously none of this stuff is an argument to anything that I said in, in my main video. Uh, so this is especially disgusting. This one person reached out to me on Twitter, just she wanted to talk to me for some reason, I don't know what. So then this person goes and says, all this stuff to her who this she has absolutely nothing to do with ethereum nothing and you're reaching out to my twitter followers telling them this junk just saw this now that's uh quite funny afri the same guy that uh i'll show you in a second but he comments users comment this video is controversial but i think controversion is very important it helps you to rethink your own points and set things into new perspectives oh what a hypocrite because uh this is the same person that uh, says my video was deleted because I'm teenage alt-right, which I'm, I'm 32 and have, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so basically the reasons I hate Ethereum, I can't stand it, is just all this hypocrisy that's going on and no one sticking to any morals or values and manipulating systems too. And the reason that's important, uh, if you remember back to when Bitcoin was first created, Bitcoin came about because people were fucking up and manipulating systems, manipulating banks and money and currency systems and all that. Uh, printing money to pay off debt and, and inflation and, and how the housing market collapse and, and all that stuff. It was all caused by greed and manipulating free markets. So if Ethereum, if members of the Ethereum community don't have uh, the moral know-withal, know hindsight, if they're not sticking to their guns and, and promoting a free market and how Ethereum is this free market, free society thing, and then doing all this stuff to be against that, uh, to be against free markets and free thought and all that, uh, and bullying to keep people down and, and oppress them and all that. Uh, I'm afraid of the future, of what's going to happen. All right, that that's going to be the end of this video. I want to make like more showing more research and, and everything and, and writing and thinking things through. I just, I don't have time for that right now. All right, take care, guys. Thank you. Uh, you can support me in the links in the description. Uh, Follow me on all social media. I'm not going to stop talking about any of this stuff. So people are just going to have to deal with it eventually because it just gets removed and all that. But uh, I have my own channel. I have my own place to speak. And uh, I don't know. Take care, guys. Thank you and goodbye.